Welcome to the No Name MMA Show. This is the MMA Roundup for Friday, November 26, 2021. We are back from the time off for Turkey Day. I hope you had a good one as well. My name is Andy Romero, aka Motivated Andy, and this is the only news you need to know today in MMA. Uh, first, we have uh, the story of Kay Hansen with Mike Heck. Uh, they had an interview, and Kay Hansen was going into details about her mental health, as well as her having an eating disorder that she suffered through. Uh, she talked about getting herself into a better place mentally in order to complete to the fullest. Um, the link should be down below for this story. But yeah, definitely worthwhile to check out. Aljamain Sterling busted up his lip on IG and uh, put it out there. Uh, got three stitches on his lip. Um, he seems in good spirits. He said that he is now not going to be able to compete until 2023. So that that's funny, I guess. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Ben Askren trying to vie for the you know the last fight on Nate Diaz's contract i don't think it'll happen i don't know why ben Askren's still trying to do mma we're done with you ben i'm sorry uh yeah dustin poirier a fucking boss gonna donate 300,000 meals to his local area uh you know he, he's gonna auction off uh his clothing so this is his goal for this upcoming fight with charles Oliveira on december 11th uh, UFC 269 uh, stacked fucking card and what a good guy uh, at least in terms of donating you know I can't fault him for that um, decent dude I guess I just I don't know just I don't like him like that or whatever um, yeah speaking of a former opponent though we have Dan Hooker trying to weigh in for 146 trying to make that featherweight debut hey I would love to see that fight between him and Zombie. I'm just mentioning it right now. Just, just my pants are so tight right now. Zombie versus Hooker would be dope because they would both just smash each other. The only thing is, my boy Zombie needs not a main event. Like that guy needs a break, bro. Just, a, just a three round war. Why not have it in a undercard? Like yeah. Come on, give, give my boy Zombie a break. Um, speaking about, you know, dickheads or whatever, John Jones tweeting out that, okay, 60 days for real now, uh, I guess in regards to his sobriety. Listen, I, I know I'm a dick and whatever, and it's judgy. or it, it, I'm not surprised, and you could call me judgmental or whatever. But this is a grown-ass man. You have enough time to tweet. You have enough time to fucking Google a therapist and go to a fucking AA meeting. So uh, I have no sympathy for John Jones. He has all the resources. Uh, yeah, fix it or fuck you. Uh, why do I care? Uh, yeah, better news. We have Bryce Mitchell versus Edson Barbosa verbally agreed upon for March 5th, my brother's birthday. That is going to be an amazing fight at 145, and I think I'm not going to say shit anymore because I'm always wrong. I think uh, Barboza is going to go out there and outstrike Bryce Mitchell. If Bryce ends up on the floor with Barboza, I'm curious to see how it actually plays out. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm very, very curious to see exactly what happens in that division, if Bryce Mitchell does end up beating Barboza. And if he does it convincingly, like, I mean, he's undefeated. He's 14-0, I believe. So, I mean, time to rise. Maybe the winner of Giga versus Cater, maybe? Who knows? I don't know. But that, I, yeah, that would be an amazing matchup. I, I, I fuck with it on every single level. The, the amount of just bleed and crazy grappling it's a perfect salad stylistic matchup you know classic striker versus grappler but yeah uh bryce mitchell also on a two-year hiatus a year and a half it's been a minute since we've seen the camo shorts do you think the venom shorts are gonna be camo no way right no way 
I don't know. Uh, we then have the news that Luis Pena has been arrested yet again. Uh, this comes after his recent arrest where he was serving time for battery for his significant other. Listen, the UFC is not going to do shit until this becomes a PR nightmare. So Luis Pena is going to end up doing something really terrible, I think, because I think this is a downward. I mean, this is clearly a trend. This is not the first time. This is not the last time. Uh, crazy that he's facing two further charges, man. Uh, prayers out to, you know, uh, Luis Pena. Uh, yeah, prayers also out, uh, to Diego Sanchez, uh, he recently got COVID and he suffered from complications, apparently he has, uh, blood clots in his legs, uh, Diego Sanchez, tough one winner, um, yeah, uh, all of us from the name MMA show love Diego Sanchez and we wish him nothing but the best, hopefully he gets better after this. Um, yeah. Um, moving on, we have Kevin Holland making the announcement that he's going to go down to 170. Hey, I'm really fucking with him d trying to do something else. I really do hope that he sticks with wrestling because if not, then it's going to end up being a pretty shitty time at 170. If you still have no wrestling whatsoever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Because I had the day off, here's some good little action from one because I didn't catch anything else. And yeah, that head kick, that head kick broke that guy's fucking tibia or some bullshit, but he knocked out the guy. So you know what? It, it, you end up winning a little bit. You end up losing a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's... That's that's it. That's the end of the show. So see, you 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 won the show, but now now that's the end, the end of the show. You see what I'm saying? You you win a little bit and you lose a little bit. He he got the knockout, but he broke his leg. That's life. If you made it this far, I, I'm assuming you're gonna like it and subscribe. I mean, come on, you watch the whole video. You're still you're you're still hearing me talk. You're still you're still listening to me. So yeah, um, talk at you guys later. Invest in your mental health. As always, fuck you, John Jones. Bye.